Hi everybody, I'm Tangie, Chandler, blogger and creative designer of Flickr Vessence. You wanted it, you got it. I got tons of emails asking me about hurricane candles. You want to know how to make hurricane candles? You want to know how to put pictures in them? You want to know other crafty stuff to do with hurricane candles? Well, you got it. I'm going to be teaching you today. For those of you who don't know what a hurricane candle is, your hurricane candle is basically your wax shell. So, of source is kind of like a candle holder. Like these over here. Your basic shapes for hurricane candles will be squared and circled like the ones we have here. You'll also see them printed and with pictures on them. Today I'm going to teach you how to make it craftastic for those craft lovers out there. Okie dokie. So you'll notice I have this bowl of blue gems. These gems are kind of like, you know, little crystals. The important thing about whatever you're going to be using for these for this hurricane candle is we're actually going to put this inside. So you want to make sure that whatever you choose to put inside, whether it's beach glass or uh, seashells or gems like I have, you want to make sure that it's non-flammable. We're also going to need our wax. We're going to need paraffin wax, but the type of paraffin wax you'll need is one that has the most uh, that's glow through. So we use, and if you have regular paraffin wax, you might want to use a little bit of paraffin just to give it more um, see-through illumination. We're going to need our wooden spatula, our candle molds, our glass here. This is like a regular candle holder. You can see it's beveled. You don't have to have a beveled one. But we want one that's kind of like a glass, though. We want it like a thicker glass, though. We have our silicone mold release spray, and we have our double boiler. So what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and put our wax inside. We're not going to need any scent because um, you most of the time you don't have to have your hurricane candle scent. The scent is going to go inside. So we're going to go ahead and melt our wax at about um, 200 degrees. Okay, while our wax is melting, we're going to go ahead and coat our candle mold with silicone spray. Now, if you notice our last one, you want to keep it far away from you or you'll choke. <laughs> it's possible. So we're going to shake it up, make sure it's really far from us. We don't want any hazards there. Make sure you're coating it really well. And then we're going to put our glass, our candle holder, inside, upside down. Well, and when you have it inside the candle mold, you'll notice that there's that little hole there. We want to try to get our glass perfectly centered inside. Perfectly centered so we have room on like either side. Okay. So while we have that there, we're going to add our non-flammable jewels inside. So I'm just going to hold that in the middle there. I'm going to push those all around the side at the bottom. I still want this to be in the middle. I want to be able to see those jewels, so I'm going to go ahead and pack them on in. So, we're just going to leave this here, and we're going to go ahead and wait until our candle has, our candle wax has fully melted. Okay, everybody, our wax is up to temperature. We're ready to go ahead and pour. What you really need to, really, really need to know is because we didn't have anything to cover our little wick hole, we need to make sure that we're anchoring our glass, our glass candle holder inside. And we're going to do that by taking our wooden spatula and putting a, a whole lot of pressure on it. We make sure we're holding it down so there no, no air can get through and no wax can get through. So while we're holding this down with one hand really tight, we're going to take the other hand and carefully go ahead and pour our wax in around the gem. And we're going to pour it all the way up here. And we're going to go ahead and continue 
to hold pressure down. If we let up pressure, then we're going to have a big mess with wax all over the place. And we also want to make sure that no wax is getting under our, our glass holder there because then it'll mess up the, the finished polished look of our hurricane candle. Okay, as you see, our wax has solidified and we're ready to take it out. So what we have to go ahead and do is we're going to have to go ahead and like massage it out. Kind of massage it all around. And it should come out really smooth just like that. And voila! We have our jewel imprinted hurricane candle. And with this glass is actually going to stay inside, which is also going to make your hurricane candle a lot more durable. So you can go ahead and throw your votives in, and you can go ahead and throw your tea lights in, the flameless or otherwise, into our gorgeous hurricane candle, and it'll be great. You don't have to worry about the wax melting or anything like that. And it's also really, really crafty. So go ahead and 